Google Tag Manager is a powerful ally when working with tags on your website. Understanding the Tag Manager account anatomy is your first step in using this simple-to-use tool. The Google Tag Manager account contains the following elements, one or more containers, some tags, some triggers, and some variables. The code snippet for your container is the main piece of code that must be inserted on all pages of your website. When the container code is present on a page and the page is accessed, it tells Tag Manager to inject any tags that you have configured into your pages. Once the container code is in place, you can deploy any tag via the Tag Manager interface. Tag Manager offers an extensive list of predefined templates for Google products, such as Google Analytics, DoubleClick, AdWords, and a large and growing number of third-party vendor tags. If the tag you want to deploy doesn't have a template in Tag Manager, you can implement it using a custom HTML tag. Triggers are conditions which inform when tags should fire. For instance, you can set up triggers to fire a tag on every page in your site, or you can make it so that the tag fires only on a subset of pages, such as product pages. There are many types of triggers to choose from, you can use events such as a click on a button or a form submission to build your trigger. You can also programmatically fire tags via the data layer using custom events. Variables are usually employed to pass dynamic data to your tags. For instance, if you want to pass the value of an online purchase to a conversion tracking tag in Tag Manager, you will need to use a Tag Manager variable to pull this value from your site and make it available to your tag in Tag Manager. When you sign in to Google Tag Manager, you'll see a list of accounts that you have access to and any containers that are associated with them. Clicking on one of the containers takes you to an overview page that shows information about that container. The left navigation pane allows you to bring up a list of your tags, triggers, and variables. The version tab shows the list of past versions of the current container with information on when they were published. From this view, you load a previous version of the container as the current version in your Tag Manager workspace, or change the currently published container to a previous version. The Admin tab allows you to manage your Tag Manager account and update the settings of the containers you have access to. You can also import and export your container's content. Understanding the container hierarchy and location of container items is the first step in understanding the power of Google Tag Manager. For more information, please visit support.google.com slash tag manager.